Well, I'm here with Steve Cochran in Green Cities, Florida. Steve, what can you tell me about, uh, about Green Cities and about what you do here? Uh, sure. I'm delighted to be here. This uh, two-day event, Green Cities, Florida, has uh, about 400 people, I think, have participated off and on uh, over the last couple of days, focused on sustainability imperatives for the state of Florida and particularly central Florida here in the Orlando region. region. These are all people who are in leadership roles, activist roles around sustainability imperatives uh, for the region. Everything from transportation systems to energy efficiency and conservation to greening of schools to there have been dozens and dozens of very organized, very useful sessions over the last two days where civic leaders and uh, activists, uh, educators, business people, etc. have participated and are taking away and getting into action to implement in this region these uh, sustainability examples, case studies, imperatives. Uh, just a few moments ago we used a collaborative tool uh, called Open Space and what we did was ask everyone to come together in a very large circle and in the last couple of hours that we have of this two-day conference we ask them to open space for themselves. Those things which they have not discussed, which perhaps they wanted to explore in more depth, uh, maybe a model of a program that they are passionate about and wanted to express, a uh, fear they might have about the viability of something, uh, just anything which had a, they cared deeply about, and this was their opportunity to, uh, if they chose to, to convene a session around that. And then, uh, as you might have seen as it occurred, very quickly, within just a few minutes, and this is probably about 150 people right now at, at this point, that 150 people created, uh, I think there's 22 sessions, 22 45 minute sessions that over the next two hours are occurring. And as you look around, you might have uh, taken some pictures in the various rooms and nooks and crannies. They're very self organizing in small circles. Uh, they're very intent, very engaged, because they have selected those things to participate in, which they very, care very deeply about. This process, open space, um, I'm very fond of. I work with many organizations from international bodies in the United Nations to federal government to corporate uh, organizations, nonprofits, colleges, and universities. And I find this to be a very effective tool when people are care deeply about an idea or a theme but don't have a preconceived notion or agenda to follow it. And the people, as we say, can vote with their feet and take part where they care most deeply. And that's occurring uh, here right now. Uh, the, the organizer of this methodology, uh, Harrison Owen in Washington, D.C., felt uh, deeply as I do that uh, often in an organized conference, as I mentioned before, some of the most effective interactions or uh, opportunities come from the conversation on the way to the men's room or in the bar or uh, the, the chance encounter, you know, at the end of another session. And Harrison said, hey, what if we could design a process which facilitated only those kinds of interactions rather than hope that they happen serendipitously? And that, that's how Open Space uh, came about. Again, I work with lots of organizations that it's an effective tool, like any tool, you don't use a hammer to drive in a screwdriver or whatever, but open space in this kind of a setting, especially with people in this sort of a conference who care very deeply and passionately about why they're here and what they want to accomplish and take away, then uh, I think it's very effective and I think what's happening right now uh, is as well. Well, what's interesting is we're here at this conference, which is about sustainability, and open space is effectively uh, organic conversation and organic groups coming together. So uh, what is usually the outcome of open space uh, meeting like this? Uh, very, very well said description. It is a very organic and kind of organized chaos type of process. Um, as we described also, these conversations and, and whatever is occurring right now, we give them a very, very simple one-page template, which just asks whoever convened that session to put their name down, who they are, uh, what the title of the session is, and then, as we describe, headlines. Uh, this is not a traditional method where you sit down and one person has a flip chart and you do a whole bunch of exhaustive notes, but rather the headlines in a newspaper of what, what is occurring, what's the feeling in that room or thoughts about that action. Then that condenses very slowly, very quickly to just three or four very declarative action-oriented statements. You know, maybe those people say, we have decided together we want to do this, or we need to lobby the state legislator for this, or I make a personal commitment to go back to my company or my school and do this. It, we don't know, but then we collect that again and give that to them as a link online so that these are not just mountaintop experiences or random conversations, but if they choose to, they can go forward and transfuse and actually use that information. So we really can't predict what might be happening, but in my experience with utilizing this tool, again, all across the spectrum, 
often very concrete, actionable partnerships, inventions, uh, really just magical things happen you just really couldn't predict, which is, is, is part of the, the magic of the tool, I think. And here we are at the Magic Kingdom, right? So Exactly. <laughs> so as uh, Green Cities is coming down to a close now, so what would you want people to take home from this event? And also, if someone is interested in using open space as a tool for a local event, what would you suggest to them to facilitate that? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. They're on, online, if you just Google open space, again, it's a, again, Harrison did not create this as a tool which has to be bought or franchised or whatever. It's sort of his gift to the universe. It's very malleable. It's never the same kind of, it's just principles, really. It's just empowering and encouraging people to open it. Uh, some of the most thrilling things are, uh, you know, I've had people, many people afterwards, you know, stay in touch and they'll say, you know what, Steve, uh, you know, after the open space at Green Cities or whatever, I went back to my church vestry meeting. We've been stuck on a problem for a year. And I said, hey, here's this tool that we used and why don't we do an open space on this? And or our family was trying to plan a vacation and we all were different, so we held an open space on the vacation. And not being facetious, it really is. So that's one thing I love is that this is a very simple kind of tool. It's mostly a mindset of, of empowering from just a couple of people to many, many people to take ownership and action for what they would like to delve into. Uh, so I would like to see that take away, and I'm sure that will, that people will see this as another toolbox, tool in their leadership toolbox of how they want to accomplish uh, you know, these very important things. I know that from the Green Cities event at large, uh, the same thing, that these organized sessions and some of the very concrete learnings and interactions and partnerships and case studies and models, uh, the political willpower and leadership, I know for me this was a, really a revelation for me that this much is occurring here in Central Florida. And I mean, this is my business and, and I'm used to this line of work, but uh, th this is a real revelation. I, I'm gonna go forward as an advocate and. Uh, to be very honest, a uh, number of people said, hey, Steve, are, have you changed the kind of work you do? I, you know, you were in Alabama last week, and you're in Florida this week on sustainable development. And I said, hey, you know, these are places that are doing it. I'm, they're asking me to come help them because they're taking ownership for the region. So I'm, I'm going away as a, as a cheerleader and an advocate for what's happening here and try and help. So we see change not only in the people who attend, but even the people who put on the presentation. Absolutely. We're all learners in this together. If anybody sets themselves up as a sustainability expert, I always go the other way because we're just all learners on this journey right now. It's all very new. Well, Steve, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. We hope to catch up with you again. Thanks very much. Great to meet you all.